We're in the mine called the Hallmax, so it's been a long day looking for stuff and we didn't find too much of anything. But uh, between the drone stuff that we'll show you and everything else, we found an attic called the Hallmack, which uh, I think is about 8,000 tons of it's produced out of here. Uh, we'll, we'll head into that attic shortly, but it's the sun's starting to go down, so we'll uh, show you what's left of the camp and everything here. But uh, yeah, a bit of a hike up there wasn't too bad. Most of it's probably mental. We don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. sand and take quad up fair ways here a bit of a hike still but oh another cool little cabin so this looks like something maybe from the 80s as well probably I think we're close to it yeah nothing too fancy about this shack just a little shack just falling apart but it's not really historic well it depends on what you think of history is I guess probably from 1980, 50 years ago. Yeah, we think we we're exploring the slopes in behind us here. And we're probably seeing this from the drone. The thing is like a lot of these roads back in the in the 80s and stuff, they uh they made a little cat trails over the place and they're doing diamond drilling, looking for more silver. This road's pretty bushed in and uh, Sharon went straight. And I went up this way, so we're seeing a compressor line. So let's go up there and have a look at that. Okay, so there is not a it here, but it's collapsed. So, yeah. So, a couple of railway tracks. I don't see it going anywhere. There's that line we saw, the old line, which is kind of interesting. So... We'll just have a quick little look around here and then we'll uh, meet up with Sharon and head into that attic. Like, I don't know, a lot of people complain about how tough uh, mine exploring is, but once you get to the attic, walking in there, sometimes that's the easiest part of your day. <laughs> Finding the attic and all the other cool stuff is sometimes a lot harder. Going up a lot of steep stuff. Once you get to the attic, you can kind of relax. <laughs> like this stuff. A lot of it's like we don't film this kind of stuff normally, it's pretty boring, but um, you know, it's just tough going. A little ways up here, but I think basically we'll just head back to the audit and catch up with Sharon. That's lot of times what we do is there's a split in the road, she'll go one way and I'll go the other way. So we don't have a radio as we should have. And that way, you know, you're covering twice as much territory because you got two people. Sometimes you got more people even with you, three people. Try to send everyone off in a different direction and then just holler if you find something. But there's a pretty cool ore cart. Pretty much all steel. <laughs> it's in this gully here. I don't think it's really old because it's welded, right? I don't think we're going to be able to get this, but maybe somebody can. good spot to put her on the road here because somebody with a little bit of ambition 
maybe decide to take it one day. Do something with it. <laughs> Just leave it right there. It's pretty cool. Alright, well we we could be here enjoying a beautiful sunset, but I think we think we're going to go into this mine here. Not that we care if it comes out when it's dark, because, you know, we do have lights, right? So, huh. So another long day of exploring. Hopefully we'll have some cool stuff for you guys. This is the Hallmac, and, uh, you know, thanks for sharing. You know, she does all this research, and she's got this cool um, Montana she got me, and all these things... Uh, they allow us to find these mines that nobody had nobody's heard of for a very long time. Uh oh. Yeah, I see a rat groceries. <laughs> She's got her hood up. I'll see if I can scare the rats out for my sweetheart. Oh no, this looks good. We got a big airline going in here. Fairly big truck. Might be a pretty cool mine. Only one way to find out. Hmm. Bit of a collapse here, but not much. Well, it looks like a lot of water washed. Gotta watch this pipe doesn't fall, because it does. It's gonna hurt, right? It's only on a rusty piece of wire here. Okay, I can hold it for you, Sharon. See, the pipe is just on some wire. Oh, yeah. It's all good. There's no rats. Yeah, right. Well, I haven't seen any. There's a lot of rats. There's a big nest. I'll fight them off for you before. Yeah, right. <laughs> Been a long day, huh? I can't see. Oh, I don't have my light on. <laughs> there we go. Now I can see. Problem solved. Boy, that's a nice picture looking out. I'm just going to push this pipe for you so you can get by. You to be careful it doesn't fall all of a sudden, right? Because the compressor pipe is just on this piece of wire. And you don't know if the wire is going to hold. All the fill from underneath the track has washed out quite a bit. So it must have had a big... Uh, Blood here or something. Hmm. We think this is one of the mines that were either built or probably renovated in the 80s, in 1980, because um, just the construction of it. Um, but it probably was an old mine because. Oh, yeah, it goes up there. Oh, that's cool. Check out the main level first. Because we saw that old riveted pipe here, so. That wasn't from the 80s. Huh. My feet are staying dry so far. Just cool. Pretty, uh, lots of shale in here as you can see. Crumbly stuff. This uh, mine had about, uh, what was it? I think about 8,000 tons of ore, which is about 200, 200 truckloads of ore. Fair bit. Yeah, 8,000 tons. Yeah, around there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. See, we've got some of this blue vent tubing from the 80s. Huh. may not have a whole lot more mine, but we'll see. Hopefully it goes around the corner. If it doesn't, it's going to be kind of a short video. <laughs> we, we go into a lot of mines where there isn't really much there, and we just don't bother filming them, so... We don't try not to show you the boring stuff. <laughs> Some people make a lot of drama out of the boring stuff, but try not to do that. Well, that still keeps going. There's a branch here, so that's all good. <laughs> right on. Yeah, it goes two ways here. Where'd my partner get to? Here she comes. 
Sure, well, it takes those awesome pictures. Hey, you guys enjoy those pictures. Sharon takes the pictures and I take the video. I shoot a lot of video, but most of it just gets chucked. Not too much water so far. Yeah, lots of shale in here, as you can see. <laughs> Degrays. Something monumental disaster. <laughs> Now look at this disaster. <laughs> well, seem to do a good work on the back anyways. I mean, that's done up pretty nice. We'll see where the disaster is. So far so good, pretty impressive. I'm enjoying it. You never know when you got these old guys, these old mines, newer mines by old mines, around old mines. You're going to see some old historic stuff. I was hoping. So far, this is looking fairly new. Yeah, well timbered up here. Some new is in here. It's always hard to tell how long it takes for these tracks, for the human tracks to kind of fill in. I know we've been in some that just a short time later they filled in, other times they could be 100 years old, you never know how old the tracks are. Looks like we're coming to an end here, but there might be a branch too. Oh. Let's have a look, huh? look at the end first. There, this is just a little place where the, where the trains would have parked here where they're getting loaded. Oh, there's no one going that way. Hmm, neat. Doesn't look like it goes very far. I'll go in here because there's rats and ass. Somebody doesn't like rats. Someone I know doesn't like rats. Yeah. BS. Hmm. Yeah, kind of a bit of a bell in here. Some newer style beer cans. That's it. For this part, this one just ends. Doesn't go too far. Looks like a mine from the 80s, maybe. But uh, when I was at the top, I saw an old, um, some old pipe uh, that was riveted. So it's likely an old mine. That was revitalized in the 80s when the silver boom happened. It goes in quite a ways, eh? Hasn't been lazy too far. Hmm. Yeah. That goes anywhere? No, it looks like the stems there, eh? Can't go that way because it's to the left, but I'm not thinking it's going to go anywhere anyhow. Lost mines of sand and eh? When they first started mining here back in the 1890s, there was like rich, pure galena veins, and all they needed was a pickaxe to get them out. And then uh, as it got more mechanized and they carried on, it was more low grade silver, which looks like rock to me. So. <laughs> you know? You keep thinking we're at the end, and all of a sudden it goes. Not an expensive way to do an exploration, I think, but. Well, you know, there could be silver in here. Could be silver ore. Not any rich veins of Galena, though, that's for sure. So they would have slushed this out, right? This is a slusher level. There's no tracks here. So, this is as far as it went. Very solid rock in here. <laughs> Big silver mining area. So, check out the other branch for you. But I'm going to check out some of those old sections and see if we can find some any real cool old stuff. Well, there's water. 
It must have a drill hole with water in it or something. Pretty cool looking ore. I don't know. <laughs> Probably a drill hole, I guess. Well, maybe not, eh? Drill hole up there, it's coming out of it. Now it's pissing out. <laughs> There's a drill hole. Look at that wood in there. We try to plug it. So they must have drilled this hole, and they're doing some exploration, all of a sudden they hit this fucking really huge high pressure vein of water. So we try to plug it out. Oh well, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> The mine floods, we don't care. All right, let's check out some of the other branches. All right, so there's another little drift up here, so let's have a look up here. I don't see any no trespassing signs, so it should be all right. <laughs> yeah. Seems like they were just doing, it's kind of plenty, they do little races like this. In this day and age, usually they do a lot of diamond drilling and exploration. It seems like a more of an exploration thing, you know? But, I don't know. How do we see here? Not much, eh? Just a little room here with a little bit of pipe in it. A ladder. Seal is bolted up. Yeah, I guess they did diamond drilling from these little stations. But they went up. You wouldn't expect that, but I guess they can go whatever direction they want. There's another little drift here. Got a ladder in here. Oh, might be able to get up somewhere. Have a look. Oh, yeah, there's a raise here. Oh, wow. Pretty cool, looks good. Let's go up here, Sharon. There's a little raise, looks kind of cool. So the tradition is that Sharon usually goes first. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's got gloves on, so maybe it doesn't go any further than that, but she can go up there and have a look. And Keep your light right where it is. There's another level up there, we can head up there. There might be. A girl still there, yeah. They look like they're in pretty good shape. All kinds of drill steel on the way up. So we know there's another level above there because we had a look at it. It was collapsed, so hopefully we can get into that top level. Kind of neat. It wasn't that much further up, so... There's a good chance this uh, joins up with the top level. Which might be more interesting than the bottom level was. Alright, what do you see up there, Sharon? Is it looking any good? Does it carry on? Good news? You think it ends? It does end. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Well, good news in one way, I didn't have to go up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I climbed up these unsteep ladders, as Frank says. He's down there. So I climbed up these because he thought it was going to go to another level. But this is this way, and that's that way. So dead end both ways so now I have to climb back down there all right coming down if I come quickly you are going to catch me yeah this ladder right here there's nowhere to put your feet really uh, it's not crazy steep up there, so it gets steeper down here. Yeah, whatever. It's always easy to say that when you're at the bottom. Oh, well, you're looking up the bottom. That always looks good. Yep. <laughs> it's steep enough that I would come down pretty fast. Good thing these, like, I know it's steel bars in the camera. I am. That's the only way I'm getting down is by holding on to these things. Yeah. Now there's a little bit of spot in the in the ladder. Oh, 
Only two more ladders. Well, they get better now. It's just that middle part is not good. There we go. Level. We still got more branches to check out. We might get a couple more. Yep. Yeah, they look like pretty good waters. That warmed me up. Yeah, let's see what we've got up here. I don't mind falling off the ladders if it's only two feet. <laughs> oh yeah, another raise. Huh, I don't know if that one goes further or not. Kind of cool. Once you get up, that part's not bad. Same kind of thing. Oh, you got to go to the top and then get on here and then where you go. I think it'd be fun. So it's a little trickier. So it's uh, we keep raising the bar a little higher for Sharon. <laughs> She'll be a champion high jumper here before you know it. High jumper, I doubt it. <laughs> now, you don't need any help from me. No. Okay, if you go up on, I'll just follow you and film you. Yeah, that'll be cool. Okay. Yeah, hopefully this one goes a little further, but it might be the same thing. Next. As we saw before. Next. A Franklin test of me. Okay, don't fall now. I might have a little trouble catching you. How he tells me. Before it was like I got your back now. Well, uh, well maybe. <laughs> oh. A little a little wobble in the ladder. We got the rocks. You what? There's no big rocks coming down. No, it's just all uh, that Sandy gravel. <laughs> yep. Well, here's a rope someone has up here. Weird. Oh, she can get up the top low. There's no other way to get in there. It's all buried, so. We'll see what she has to report. What do you see there, partner? Oh, oh, the end. The end? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah sure that. Yep. And there's and where I came from. This is just an expiration races almost beside each other, so. Okay. All right, well, this really cool stuff we're going to see down the main hall up. Okay, I'm going to come down. Maybe I'll take a picture while I'm up here. Might as well. Yeah. All right, well, there's some of the cool stuff we're going to see down the main hall level. Okay, I'm going to come down. Sounds like a good plan. I'd come down if I were you. Maybe I'll take a picture. Okay, down we go. Getting close? Uh, yep. Oh, little rock, little rock. One more little ladder to go. Yeah. I'm on the wobble one. I got this bar too, so.
very good job. I'll move out of the way in case some rocks come down. Where else are you going to find an awesome woman to check out razors like that, eh? <laughs> and cook some pretty mean steak, too. The little miner's getting off shift there, so... Time to come down the raise, head out the main hall level. Do you want to stand on this beam? Yeah, it to be all right. Try not to put too much weight on, but what can you do, huh? Got this bar too, still. Yeah. There we go. All right, good job. The ladder seemed to be in pretty good shape for someone who weighs 120 pounds. 120? <laughs> what? Ish. <laughs> I don't think it was 120. More or less. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so here's an ore chute here that's... It's not really collapsed, it's just full. Let's see how far we can get past it. Not bad for 220. Oh, oh no, it goes a little bit in front of me. Oh, thanks. Oh, it goes pretty steep though. Goes up here. Oh, we ain't going up there. Cool picture though. Yeah, not very far. Oh, there's the man way going up the higher level, which is kind of cool. That's pretty tough getting up there. The ladders, ladders are all rotten. That's really wet too, right? Yeah, I don't think they want to try to mess with that. Let's see where you get the higher level though. Huh. Doesn't look very easy. Kind of cool up there. It's like all solid wood up there. I don't think you can crawl up there, eh? No. Looks pretty tough. You may want to have a look. Make a good picture. <laughs> so, the one time we come out of the mine, we didn't have to turn our lights off. <laughs> but, uh,. That was kind of psychological, I guess, you know, hoping to get up before it's dark. What's the difference? <laughs> You're driving around in the dark all day, so. All right, so we're having lots of fun showing you guys all this cool stuff around Sandon. And um, we'll catch you in the next week for another show from around Sandon, I'm sure. Hi, right, everyone. Thanks for joining us this week. We have a show every week, so we'll see you next week. Uh, check out our new merch page. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Music is by The Addits.